G'day guys, just me Roms here today and today I'll be showing you how to unbrick your M-Logic devices. Uh, it's come to my attention that a few people are bricking their units with its human error, with its faulty hardware, uh, clones, etc. Oh, I'm not too sure. So what boxes am I going to cover today? I'll be covering the uh, M-Logic S802 known as the M8, the S805 known as the MXQ, the S812 known as the M8S or the M8S Plus, uh, the S905 known as the MXQ Pro. Now, I'll be showing you two methods. Uh, the first method is the boot card maker, uh, which requires an SD card or micro SD card. That method there, I've had mixed results. I'm not too happy with that method there. The second method is using the USB burning tool uh, and a male-to-male -male USB cable. I've had fantastic results with that. So let's let's have a look and see what accessories we need. You'll need a USB mouse, your standard remote, a male-to-male -male USB cable, a two gigabyte SD or micro SD, depending on uh, your uh, what your box accepts, an SD card reader or a writer um, if your PC does not have one built in. Okay, the first method is the boot card method. Let's have a look. What we need to do there is we need to run the bootcardmaker.exe as administrator. Once we launch it, we've got to select our path to our SD card. Now pay attention guys, if you select the wrong path, will wipe out your information on that hard drive so i'm telling you now pay attention to what it is um, to partition and format click yes choose your bin files press open select your u-boot.bin press open give it a few seconds to load it up click on make next uh, partition has been finished start to format the disk press ok ok leave all this default fat32 that's what we want uh, volume label that's optional you can name it whatever you want press ok to partition format format complete press ok close the formatting tool boot maker success so that's that's worked out well for us press ok now we don't need um, boot cut maker anymore so we'll just close that up next what we need to do is select these two files unlocked auto script and usb dot wps we need to drag those across to our sd card in the root directory so i'm just doing that now okay now um, what we need to do now is go back to our firmware okay I'm, I'm going to use the m8 m8s now there's five files in there one two three four five we need to copy the whole lot across to our root directory of the sd card okay let those copy across by the end of it we should see seven files um, in the sd card root directory So those files are copying across um, at the moment, as you can see. Okay, we're almost done. Right, okay, that's done. So let's let's have a look at the root directory of our SD card. As you can see, the files are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, what we need to do from here is we need to pull that out from the card reader and insert it into our box that we're trying to recover. Now, the important thing is here is we need to insert that card with the box powered off. And what we need to do now is we need to do the tooth card pick method. So what we've got to do is once the card's inserted in the box, we put the uh, 
the toothpick inside the AV hole wherever your reset button is and we insert the power. Now we've got to keep that toothpick held down for at least 30 seconds. Uh, if it's successful, we should see the front LED lights blinking, uh, showing us that files have been transferred. Now this could take anything between three minutes to 10 minutes. Once it's completed, uh, the box should recycle itself and your box is, is working again. If nothing happens after 30 seconds, uh, we need to do the burning card uh, tool method, so keep watching. Okay guys, uh, for those that didn't have uh, any success with the boot card maker, I'm going to show you method 2 using the USB burning tool. Uh, there's two scenarios that could happen via this method, depending on how you've bricked your device. Now, you're going to need the USB burning tool software, you're going to need the mail to mail USB cable. You're going to need the image file for your device, which is your firmware, as an image uh, extension. You're going to need some thin solder or a needle pin that's conductive uh, to short out pins uh, in scenario two, I guess. Uh, some blue tack or extra pair of hands for scenario two and the toothpick. Now, let's have a look at uh, the USB burning tool software. As you can see, it's all in Asian. Don't panic, guys. Once once you uh, load it up uh, from your programs, what you need to do is go up to the top navigation bar, go to the second tab there, and click on English. Bang, it's all in English now. So what we need to do next is we need to uh, load up the image file for our device that we're using. Make sure it's the correct image file. So we get a file, import image. Uh, for me, it's a S802. Click on that, press open. It could take up to 30 seconds to load up the firmware, depending how big it is. Okay, now that's loaded. Now, what we need to do next is we need to go to the far right navigation there, where it says erase flash, normal erase, that's all correct. Erase bootloader, that's correct. We need to click on reset after success. Okay. Now that's uh, ticked on reset after success now. So before we can press start, we need to uh, put our box into recovery mode. So what we need to do is go to our box. And as you can see in the picture there, we need to plug in the power while holding down the toothpick reset button. Um, yours might be underneath the box. I don't know where your reset button is. Uh, and we need to plug in the USB mail cable on the outside USB port or within a second or two. So hold down the reset button, plug in your power, then plug in your USB uh, mail. Okay, so I'll show you an example what it looks like if your box gets recognized. Let's go back to USB uh, thumb, uh, burning tool, sorry. Okay, I'm just going to show you now what comes up on USB burning tool once your box gets recognized. So basically I'm holding down the reset button on my uh, device, plug in power, plug in the USB uh, mail cable, nothing's happened. So we, we unplug it all, hold down the reset button again, plug in power, plug in the USB mail, still didn't come through, okay. So we'll try it again. Plug in the power while holding the reset button down and plug in the USB mail. As you can see, it took three, three attempts for me um, for it to say connect successfully. So don't give up after the first go. Try a couple of times until uh, you get that combination right. And then you, you, you click on start. Now that's got to go through a cycle which generally takes about three minutes um, doing its thing. So be patient and let it flash through. Now, some of you might experience errors um, after 3%, 5%, 50%, 96%. Uh, don't, don't panic. Re retry flashing it again. If you get the same error, then go to the far right. Okay, um, and in the drop down menu there, put it on force erase. Okay, that should fix your uh, your error.
as you can see it's progressing uh, along slowly so where, where you see this progress bar when it's gone through uh, correctly it should be green saying 100 percent success if you get an error the bar will be red so it means you need to reflash your unit also too you'll see the results down the bottom here where it says results what the issue is you can also go into the mlogic usb burning tool folder and look up the text file and see what error it's giving you now basically if it goes through okay 100 percent your box is going to reboot you're going to see the mlogic logo and then the android ui okay if your box does not get detected as i was saying scenario two we'll look at scenario two just give it a few few more seconds guys let this finish okay, like I said it generally takes about three minutes so we haven't got far to go Okay, see so that burning successfully, that means that it's gone through and your boss should reboot to the MLogic logo, etc. Okay, scenario two, let's have a look at scenario two, let's go back. Scenario two is um, where we need to short out pins 29 and 30 on a NAND flash, which is labeled um, over here Hynix H27. UCG 8 T for Thomas 2 ETR. Okay, make sure it's the same brand of uh, TSOP NAND and the same part number, or else the NAND pins might be different where you need to short out. And, and if you short out the wrong pins, you might end up doing some damage to your to your NAND. So basically, you could either use, um, like I said, a, a thin piece of uh, solder. To bridge 29 and 30 short amount uh, and use some blue tack or you can use a, a, a sewing needle um, and short out those two pins this is where it becomes tricky where you need the extra pair of hands um, because you're gonna have to do the reset hold the reset button in plug in the power and plug in the USB cable if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time